Hello, welcome. In this video, we're going to solve a problem that works with trigonometry on the Algebra 2 regions. So pause it, give it a shot, and then press play when you're ready to solve it with me. Okay, so if we look at this problem, y is the hours of daylight in Utica, and x is the number of days from January 1st. So in that context, I would say that if x equals 1, then we're looking at one day from January 1st. So that would be January 2nd, right? That's what I think this is saying. And this is our equation right here. And essentially, they want us to find out how many hours of daylight there would be to the nearest 10th on this date right here. Now, there are 31 days in January. And then an additional 14 days that we're looking at here in February. And if we put those together, we get 45 days. But we want to take one day away because it's from January 1st, right? Again, so if it was on January 1st, you'd be looking at zero. So in this case, um, right, we don't, we don't want to confuse that, right? We saw here, one, if x is one, that's one day from January 1st, right? So it's, it's 44 days after January 1st. Now what you could do is just plug in 44 for x in this equation and it would solve it. You can also graph it in the calculator. Um, when you graph it though, make sure you're in radian. And in general, you're dealing with radians here. And I should say that even if you're plugging it in, make sure you're in radians. If they don't specify degrees or radians on the Algebra 2 regions, you want to stick with radians, which I, I wish they would just say that. But anyway, 0.017 x minus 1.4, close parentheses, and then plus, now this calculator it freaks me out, doesn't show what I'm entering here, but there we go, press graph. You might get a flat line. Um, if, if that's the case, it's not wrong. It's just that uh, if you look at the frequency uh, of, if you look at the coefficient excuse me, of x, it's 0 0.00, it's 0 0.017. So to get that number, right, that's just, that's two pi over the period. And that means that we're getting a really small value. So it takes a really long time to complete a cycle, right? To get a number this small. So here on the window, if you want to see uh, multiple cycles, just bump up the X max. So like maybe let's put a full year, 365. And then here you start to see the wave, right? So that's what's going on here. Then you're trying to just kind of scroll along on the graph to see what the inputs and outputs are. And here we're looking at, I'm going to kind of scroll back here. Okay, so look at the y values here on this line. You'll see that as we go up, let's see, 42.5, 75, it's way too far. Let's say I look at 44.375. You see the numbers between 44 and 45. Let's see, 45 is 10.4 and 40. 44 is still 10.4, 43.75 is still rounded to 10.4. So actually, if you were to scroll through this, you would still get 10.4, which is the correct answer. And if you look at your table, go to second window, on this app, it just says table goes one. That's the increments are going up by, which is good when we go up by days. And then if you go to second graph, try again, second graph, you can see the outputs here on the right. So let's scroll down, right? Let's go down, go, 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 go. Here's 44 days, 45. So if you missed that counting from January 1st, you still get the same answer. But in this case, we're concerned with 44 days after January 1st, and that's the output. All right.